Purchase some red properties. Ooh! Um, Stagecoach, Taxi, American Appetites, the Movies, Gunsmith. Um, Nigel. He was the one that went missing, wasn't he? Uh, up, uh, yeah, let's just go there. Horse! Ran something over there. <laughs> Come on. This way. How do you do? Let's go. Yes, let's go. Go, 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 go. Sir, you need I think help? He's dead. Mister, you alive? Ah, fuck, fuck, god damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? <laughs> you look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. Oh. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh. 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 Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. Hang on. Oh, I'm, I'm finished. The drink. No. Done for. Just sit up straight, no. will you? Don't stop. Listen. Don't pull over. The closest doctor is in Armadillo. Okay. Have stopped. 
simple, isn't it? How do you not understand a simple concept? And boop de boop! Yeah. Alright, I ran him over. He should be dead. Oh, come on, you got rid of my horse! Where'd he go? Safe, you'll be happy to know. Just. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Thank you. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for, for. Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my. <laughs> Bow wing on wing, wow, wow, wow. Map. Uh, where do we want to go? There's a taxi. Ah, there's the train. We could go do something with the train. Um, let's go do a Bonnie mission. Is there a way to fast travel? We meet again. How are you? <laughs> Excuse me. I want to see. Uh, I've never played this game before. I kind of wing it. Um, skip help. This will be fun. Best of luck to you. Now, here's something you don't see every day. Uh... Oh, cool. Sanchez, Alinde, DeSanta, Reyes. All the same, they just want armadillo rail rights. Wait, look at your cards. And the king, so what does that mean? I've got a nine. This? I've got a pair. Um. I think I'll raise. Still got a nine, so I've got one pair. 
Yeah, two pairs of nines. A pair of nines. A pair of sevens. I win because my nines are higher. Yeah. Unless you want to start working for Pepper Guts, you'll keep Johns as far as possible from the governor's mansion. That's what I like to hear. I'm calling. Uh, what was it? I didn't read. I got a queen and a six. So what's in the middle? What's in the middle? A six. I got a pair of sixes. I need a queen though. Really to win. I bet. Uh, oh, cool. I'm going to lose this, aren't I? Yeah. I've got a queen and a six. That John Marston used to be a hired killer for the Jews, you know. Oh, you ain't never lie yet. So I lost. Yeah. You can't win them all. Someone is cheating at this table. <laughs> Ira Shelton don't lose his money. Hey, I'm leaving. Oh, I got five. It's not bad. Okay. Let's go out this door. Oh, it's a bed. Can we sleep in the bed? Oh, I can draw that. <laughs> oh, I can cheat at poker. That's what I'm talking about. Right, where's the train at? Let's go see if we can play with the train. It's miles away. Let's not go play with the train. Doink. Uh, let's go do another... Um, can we fling ourselves this way at all? How do I? F it's that one, isn't it? Kit. He's a tumbleweed. Look. Tumble, 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 tumble. Push, 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 push. push. <laughs> right. Have I left armadillo now? Set up and settlement thing, whatever it's called. There we go. Travel. Uh, McFarland's Ranch. I'm not doing a patrol. It's a bit early, is it not? Yeah. Let's go save. Nosey! Frank's back. Save. Save, save, save. 
Ah. Uh, just as a bike rain. Do 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 do. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, yeah. and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. <laughs> do you do that? I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. What am I here for? Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Nah. I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, You'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true. Especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. She was a prostitute and he was her, well, <laughs> I, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the leader of the gang taught me how to read. Taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left. Or tried to leave. Ah, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer. Sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area. And a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you no. help me? Well, I can try. <laughs> what do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. Frank, 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 Hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're... they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you. You skinned your horse, didn't you? 
horrible pass. Oh, what are you doing that way for? How are you, Miss McFarland? to me horse. Jingle, 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 jingle. You're not bad with the herd. Ranching might be your true calling, Mr. Thank Marston. You. Either that, or you were a cow in a past life. <laughs> Thank you, Miss McFarland. I'll see you later. I have work to do back at the ranch. Okay. 